Here's a mess. Hello there. This is Cheryl Lentz, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Holy cow. I was outside. Hi. Sorry. I didn't look in the mirror before I went on. Eek. Um, anyhow, I am here. Um, I, I wrote, um, join me for talking on Tuesday at 2 for Daffodil Delight. That's not the name of it. It's Daffodil Daydream. So anyhow, Daffodil Daydream stamp set and it has all kinds of cool um, dyes with it. And so I thought we'd make a quick card uh, showing that for Easter. So I'm going to turn the camera around. We're going to get started right away. So if you're joining me, thank you for joining me. I'm going to take a little ride now. So if this bothers you, cover your eyes because here we go. We're going to go down to the desk. There we go. All right, here we go. Um, okay, so here we go. Hi, Cheryl. Welcome, welcome. So um, this is Daffodil Daydream. A set. I try to, I try to hit it so that it's kind of you don't get the. Hi, Cindy. Um, and then here are some of the dies that we're going to use today. <laughs> there's more to this set, but um, you can cut out. There's dies for these individual flowers, and then there's dies to do daffodils that we're going to do today, like this one. So this is what we're going to do today. Um, and it goes faster than you'd think. You cut up, cut everything out at the same time, and away you go. So, let me just, I have something on my screen here. All right, hello, Barbara. So, um, here we go. I am going to take this out. This is one of the cards that they're going to do in class. So, um, lots of cutting out. So, what I would suggest is when you're doing... Um, these that, I mean, there's like very little stamping, right? We're stamping the verse and we're stamping inside. Um, I would suggest getting everything stamped or cut out, die cut, and then, and then it's like paper dolls, right? You're just going to sit down and go, go to it. So this beautiful background I thought was interesting because it looks like a painting. Every one is a little bit different. It's from, I can tell you who it's from, Flowering Fields. Okay, and they have a number of different backgrounds that look like this, um, where you're just picking up a little bit of color. Um, so each one will be different. Let's pull this one out. So this is what you would get in class, this little packet here. So I have my, here's my bow. Um, and even though I'm using um, Mango Melody and Daffodil Delight on my flowers, the bow is Bumblebee, but it blends just fine. Uh, anything goes with gingham, right? So cute. So here's my pieces. So let's see what this one looks like. So this one doesn't have any of the darker um, Blackberry Bliss coloring in it, but you can see it all looks like um, like a painting. It looks like painting. There's the back of it. That's the one. So that one is beautiful. And I, I, did a, I did an Easter card using this side, but now I'm using this side. So there we go. Um, so I'm just gonna set this stuff aside and then I'll, I'm gonna cut out all the pieces. So I will bring, I'm going to stamp, I will stamp the the verse so I can cut everything out at once. But I have um, Old Olive, I thought was a good green. Um, Mango Melody, love this yellow. It's probably my favorite yellow. And Daffodil Delight. So those are the colors I'm using. And then I'm mixing them up with this Blackberry Bliss as the layering because that is the color that was picked up with this. I always like the layer to be a darker color. So that's what I picked up. So each one will be a little bit different, all beautiful. Um, can't go wrong with these colors. So let's stamp my verse here real quick. I'll stamp this verse and the, out, the inside verse. And then that part will be all done. And then we'll do the cutting out. And then it's just kind of piecework, putting it all together. I did use for my verse on the front the, one of the tag dies. So I have that set aside too. So here is my Easter blessing. Oh, and I had the ink and everything in here. I'm, I, I got more done than I thought. <laughs> so I'm just going to stamp this here. There we go. And I'm going to stamp the inside piece. And then all my stamping is done. It's just a matter of paper dolls after that. Um, sometimes it's intimidating when you have so many little pieces. But don't. Don't feel that way. Just kind of, if you just take your time and let's hope this goes straight. Yeah, pretty straight. Okay, good enough. <laughs> I'm going with it. That works for me. 
Um, just take your time and figure out all your little pieces and um, it'll all come together. So here is my, I'm gonna bring my um, cut and emboss machine over. Move my stuff off the way, out of the way. All right, here we go. I'm using the big one today because I have a lot to cut out, <laughs> which makes so much sense, right? Okay, so here I'm using um, uh, base number one, then the number two plate, a number three clear acrylic, and then the paper goes down, the cardstock goes down, the dies go down, and another acrylic on top. So um, when you're looking at all these different dies, these big clear ones, it's nice that they have two of these. I like that, and two of the centers, right? Um, the smooth ones... These are all the detail pieces, so this is the darker color. You could do it either way. Um, that's what I chose to do was do uh, the smooth ones in the lighter color and then the dark ones. So I had two um, pieces here just to put down, and then I'll just try to get them all cut at the same time. Since I'm not cutting them, you know, stamping them and cutting them, you don't have to be quite so fussy, right? It works out okay. So this is my, all of my flat ones are going on here first. There we go. And then I also did use this one for um, the butter, the butterfly, I think I did the darker color. Yeah, I did. I'm lying to you right, right away. I'm right off the bat giving you a line. So let's see here. And then the body of the the body of the little butterfly, I used uh, old olive. So that's what I used for the stems. So there we go, I have that one all set. And now all of these that show a little more detail, that's gonna go on the Mango Melody. So I have two of the center pieces. Uh, this is the long one, it looks like a propeller, that's what it reminds me of, the propeller. And then these where there's double. Uh, here we go. And actually, I need to cut out um, extra. No, th these two pieces are needed for one flower. So just so you're aware of that. There we go. And put this down. Put this one down. I have plenty of extra. So when my people are at class, if they need to, they could probably get an extra one in here. And there's my butterfly. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna cut all these out one felled swoop. Let's get my, there we go. Get this all together. Um, some of the finer pieces you could use the adhesive sheet on. I didn't because this was the first time I did them all. And so I just kind of left it as is. I didn't um, switch it up. So I'm just gonna pull these off because I have to do some more. Here's the darker colors. I'm just gonna put all, all this, all these on, off to the side here and then I'll, I'll sort through them as I can. Oop, there we go. All right, now I have to do the stems. So let's get all of these off. Ta-da, ta-da. Like I said, it's like paper dolls. There's a lot of little moving parts but it's okay, don't be intimidated by it, just go with it. Let me get my pickup tool here, I need to pull that up, okay. All right, then you'll figure out what's, what's what. <laughs> All right, so here are my, I have my um, old olive and all our stems, so I just kinda this looks like a hockey stick. We have one hockey stick. There's four of them. And so I just kind of laid them out here. And there's room for extra if you decide you want more leaves or whatever. And then here's the body of the butterfly. And let's see here. I think I can do it this way. There we go. I think I can do it this way and then get my my verse cut with the tag too. Here we go, this one. I wanna make sure I get this whole leaf on here. So I'm just gonna move that over. Okay, here's my tag die. There we go.
go. And on this one, I know I'm gonna have a flower here, so I'm going to move it over a little bit more. So the verse is right at the end of the die. And I'm lining up like the top of Easter and the, and the blessings to try to get that about even. And here we go. Crank it through. There we go. Okay, now I can get this big machine out of the way. Get all my little paper play pieces here. Easter blessings, all my dies. So when I first did this, I was like, hmm, I didn't know. And watch out because this little butterfly body is so teeny tiny. It likes to disappear. All right. So how I started out deciding where everything was going to go is I just, I put together my flowers first. Here's my stems. I'm going to put these over here. Um, so here's all my stems. There we go. There. Okay. Here's my other leaf. And these go, you know, so you know the up and down. You could turn it around if you want your leaf going the other way. But there's a little bit of a lip on here. Um, the smooth side up is the correct side. Here's this, that one. Got all these little pieces. Okay, so now my flowers. When I'm bringing over all my little flowers, see what's stuck in here and what's not. So... I'm going to put all these over here, all the mango melody ones, off to the side. I'm going to use my pickup tool wherever I put it. I don't know. It's probably right in front of my face. Well, I don't know what I did with it. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, I'm going to grab an old one here. Paper piercing. Okay. And these little holes, that's exactly what they're for, is just to poke in there and push your cardstock out. Sometimes they just fall out. You saw a majority of them just fell out. Come on, there we go, okay. And I just like to put like pieces together so I have it organized. So these that look like spiders to me, like you could, I think this would make a cool spider if you put a big body on it. They're kind of interesting. <laughs> that one is over here. Here's this one. All these little details, and they just kind of fall out. So that's, here's this. This one is over here. That's for the half piece. This piece that looks like it's something you're not going to use, you are. <laughs> here's our butterfly. There's just a lot of little pieces. So somebody was at class, Carol was at class, and she said she had bought it, but she hadn't done it yet. All these, you know, because uh, uh, when you look at all the pieces, it's like, oh, my goodness. Okay, what am I going to do with that? But really, just organizing it, putting it all together, it, it goes pretty fast. So don't worry. We will get it all done. Here we go. I think I have it all there. So this piece... So the pieces that are going to go together, so these two pieces go together. This petal, it's like an open, the open blossom. That's going to go together. These two are going to go together. Super simple. These two are going to go together. There we go. This one goes on here. There. Ta-da. And these can just get out of the way now that we have all the paper out of them. All right. I don't know. I should look. There, there are a lot of dies on this with this set, but all right. So there we go. So now we have them. So when you're putting these together, I always like look at the dies. There's um, kind of a little notch out on, on, on this one here. See how it's kind of a sharp um, notch to the side? That's what I looked at when I looked at this piece that's going to go on top. This one also has the little notch to the side. So if you match it up that way, it's easier. Otherwise, you're playing. See that? So the set that's offset to the side, put that there. 
find the little notch because these are all pretty rounded, all the other ones, but this one has a definite notch to the side. So you can tell where to line it up. The notch, oh, see, I had that one wrong. Here's the notch, there we go. Just like that. And also they go better if you, if you have the right side out. So, you know, sometimes they, you get them turned around. So and then these just lay on top. So that's super simple for the blossom like that. All right, and this one, same thing. Um, whoops, the helicopter. You can see the notch up and it just lays down on it. So, all right, gluing it. Like I said, you could use the adhesive sheets. On this one, I didn't. Um, it glues on well enough. I just kind of running a little bit of, I used the green glue. My favorite, the green glue, a little bit on there, and just follow the notch, line it up, and you're all set. There, ta-da. So I'll set that aside. Here's another one. We'll just glue these all together. So actually, it's not the stamping, it's just the um, putting everything together it takes a little bit of time, but it's not bad. It would be fun to use um, a lot of different colors and maybe, you know, change up your colors and um, for the picture. On this one, I just thought against that um, Highland Heather background with the accents with the Blackberry Bliss, I thought the yellows looked good against that uh, drastic background. And there's other colors in there and uh, look at the backs. I mean, it's so hard not to use the tulip side, right, on that that paper. But look at the back side, because <clears throat> there's so many cool things um, that you could use that with, too. I thought it would be nice, and I didn't on this one, because I'm using it on another, um, another um, card. Uh, the embossing folder that looks like, um, like a painting. I can't remember what the name of it is called, but... It's kind of cool, and that would look nice um, if that would have been done on the background, give it a little more texture. But there's a lot of texture because the flowers are kind of bulky, so that makes up for it. There we go. So now look at, I have half as many pieces to go. Oops, come back here. This looks like a little U. There. And then one more, whoopsie daisy. My fingers don't wanna to work today. And this one's just gonna go right at the base, go right up the side. There, and last one here. So this one is gonna go like this. So the shortest one, when you're looking at the die, shortest one down, right? Okay, there we go. I'm off screen, sorry. I'm just adding a little bit of glue here and there. I'm not covering everything. I'm just doing a little bit here and there. There we go. Okay. So, first one I started with, <clears throat> excuse me, was this, this little uh, blossom. Because that is going to go on here. So you have two of these uh, going opposite directions. So just to keep that in mind. So I just put a little bit of green glue on the base of this flower. And this is going to go right up and fit right next to there. And it just goes together perfect. Ta-da. That's where I started um, as far as when I put them on the backing. These are going to offset each other like that. I don't know that there's any particular way they have to go on, but I just kind of plopped it down and said, okay, this is it. So however you want to do it, there we go. And then the top of the flower, just kind of, I put on the center. I don't know. I don't know if there's a right or wrong, but that's how I did it. I just kind of got the center in there and Plopped it down. There we go. 
Whoops, come on. My fingers are a little bit not working good. There, okay. So that's that one. Then here's this half blossom. That's where the helicopter piece goes on. So that's gonna go in here. And then, um, and then the, the blossom goes on top. The little, I don't know. I don't know all the correct flower parts. <laughs> Goes along with me not having a green thumb, I guess. I'm just I'm just plopping it together, <laughs> and this one goes on top there, so just like that. There, there we go. Now I have all those pieces. Then I have my little butterfly and this teeny tiny little body here. So I just put a little tiny bit of glue right directly on the butterfly. It's easier than trying to get glue on this little baby body and just set it down here, just so I don't lose it. There's a little hole cut out. And so I have that on the body of the butterfly. There we go. And then I always uh, just take my nail and kind of bend up so it gets a little 3D effect. And I'm going to put a, um, sequence on there. So, okay, we have all of our pieces ready. Here's my background. I'm going to go ahead and put it on this because it gets a little bulky once all the flowers get on. So I'm going to put my designer paper. Come on, let's get a little glue here. I guess it's enough to glue it on. I hope. <laughs> there we go. I'm just going to put that on. Then you can kind of decide whether you want, there's a little, it's a little lighter here, a little darker on the bottom. I'm gonna go with the lighter on top. I started with um, my petal, my little, uh, uh, whatever this is. It's the little bud. I started with the bud and I put it up in the side like that. What I, my plan was to have everything sort of crisscross here where I wanted my bow and my verse here. So it's just wherever you want to put it down, right? Uh, let me just put some adhesive down here. And that was my first piece on. That's all I'm trying to say. You got to start somewhere. You got a bunch of flowers and you're going to put them on there. You got to start somewhere. So I have that one up a little bit higher. That's okay. Each one is going to be different. And then I just sort of layered on my leaves, you know, however I wanted. No rhyme or reason, actually. I just sort of, because these are going to go, I want this one way over here. And if they go longer, that's okay. They can go out of the picture a little bit. And this one I put up here. This is going to be covered because I didn't do another blossom. So this one's just going to lay on top here. Whoop, jeez, they're flying away. This one's just going to lay on top. This one's gonna lay over here with the background and then this will go here and my butterfly and my bow. So that's that's how I balanced it with this other yellow. Cause I have the three flowers here and I thought I needed a little more of that yellow color down here. That was my balancing act. So let's glue our leaves on. So you can see no rhyme or reason. I'm just like putting them on. And then you can place your flowers on. Decide where you want them to cross and how you want it to go. Come on. All right. All right. You're going to force me to get this sometimes because I never put the cover on my glue. Always put the cover on your glue. <laughs> I never do. I'm just... And then I have to poke at it here. In fact, it's not working for me. Julie, do you think I can get another glue? There we go. Oh, now it's coming. I'm sorry. I got it now. Hi, caramba. Okay. I'm just going to put this right along here. Just, just, just put them on wherever. And then put your flowers where you want them. There we go. Just like a regular bouquet, right? Everything is, it's not just in a perfect spot. Just kind of wherever it falls, it's kind of pretty. There. 
Okay. There we go. Okay. This one's going to go here. Just going to put a bunch of glue on there. Put my daffodil here. This one is already up so far. That's why I didn't use dimensionals on some of them because it just feels like they're they're already pretty far up uh, as far as layering because this has like three layers on it. Here's my little butterfly. I'm going to put that down here just like that. There we go. The base of my card is, is Old Olive. That's what this color is here. Now I'm going to put my verse on here and that I did pop up as long as everything else was popped up. I did put my verse on some dimensionals. Uh, here we go, just like this. And then my bow, I'm going to get some glue dots here. Oops, let's see here. All right. And I'm just gonna put a couple of them here and then I'll push my bow into it. There we go. There. Straighten out my little bow. Alrighty. It's sort of going at an angle with my, there. Just like that. And then here is my, the top to my butterfly. I'm just bringing that um, color back in, the Blackberry Bliss, with that. Goes on here. Ta-da! So get to know your dyes. <laughs> I think that's the key to making it easy. You know, knowing that that one has a little notch in it, so follow that. Make it easy to, to put them all together. Um, get it all cut out, lay, lay them all out so it's not so confusing. And then, um, I must have glue on there. Uh, and then just put the pieces together and, and build it. Build it and they will come. There we go. That's there. I love Blackberry Bliss. It's such a wonderful, deep, rich color. It's purdy. It is in the regal family. I love it. All right. There we go. Ta-da! Easter blessings. There we go. So that is using Daffodil Daydream and the 10,000 Daffodil Daydream dies. <laughs> And one little tag die, so there you go. But well worth it, well worth the time. Once you get it all together, it looks so cute. Um, it'd be interesting to use different, same card with different backgrounds using the, um, the designer paper from Flowering Fields. So, ta-da, I'm gonna turn the camera around. A little glue dot on there. Oh, thank you. Uh, there we go. Turn the camera. All right, y'all, thank you for joining me. Hello, Susan. Uh, yeah, it makes pretty cards. That, that, that designer paper, the flowering fields, is so beautiful. It's hard to not use the flower side, but that other side gives such an interesting background. It looks textured without even being textured. So just give it a try. Just buy more paper. You know, you can just buy more paper. Use the flower side and and the other side. <laughs> so it works out good. So I am um, here today. Um, tomorrow, Peter is coming home. And I'm not sure how things are going to go. Um, we're waiting for equipment to be dropped off here at the house today to prepare for him. And tomorrow morning, he is supposed to come home. So we're, we're really happy about that. Um, so um, I'm just saying, uh, if you're watching, um, I'm on today. I'm not sure what's going to happen um, for the rest of the week. I will try to come on and I may be on at odd times or um, something like that because he needs a little extra care. 
So thank you so much for joining me. Um, Daffodil Daydream, beautiful bundle. So if you don't have it already, you need to get it. <laughs> Put it in, make some beautiful Easter cards, birthday cards, just the flowers are, are quite lovely. So thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.